Every week, big fantasy players have tough matchups, and week 12 is no different. Aaron Rodgers plays the 49ers defense, Saquon Barkley plays the Bears defense, and the Rams wide receivers face the vaunted Ravens secondary. Inevitably, some big name players will have down weeks, and some players you might not expect will have big weeks, and that's what we'll discuss in today's video, is low owned players that will have big fantasy week 12s. Before I get started though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as all support is very much appreciated. Now with that being said, let's begin. The first player that has a big week 12 is Redskins quarterback Dwayne Haskins. As of Tuesday morning, he is owned in just 2% of ESPN leagues and is facing the Lions defense this week, and they are a team that just gave up over 440 yards and 3 touchdowns to Dak Prescott, and gave up 3 passing touchdowns to Mitch Trubisky the week before that. They have given up 15 passing touchdowns in the last 5 games, and I am confident Haskins can have a good day against them statistically. They do not have a good secondary aside from Darius Slay, and I look for the Redskins to throw the football early, given that fellow rookie quarterback Daniel Jones shredded this defense for 322 yards and 4 touchdowns. Haskins is a great one-week rental option for Week 12. We don't have to look too far for the next good one-week rental, and I hate going in the same game because I like to mix up games and players and teams for these videos, but Lions quarterback Jeff Driscoll. In two games starting, Jeff Driscoll has thrown for over 200 yards and at least one passing touchdown in each game. He had a pretty solid day for the very seldom people that started him, as he had two passing touchdowns, 50 yards rushing, and a rushing touchdown to cap the day against the Cowboys last week. The Redskins just gave up 34 points to Sam Darnold on the Jets, and Darnold had four passing touchdowns in an easy win. I don't think Driscoll can have that type of success against Washington, but I do think he could every bit of 230 yards and two passing touchdowns with some impact on the ground as well. While Darnold is a better player than Driscoll, I think it's more than fair to say Driscoll has better players to throw to, like Kenny Galladay, Marvin Jones, and TJ Hawkins to name a few. Both quarterbacks in this game are good one-week rentals. A bonus is for people who gamble, take the over for this game as the over-under is only 42 points and I think they shatter this. The next player who can have a big week in week 12 is Colts running back Jonathan Williams. Starting running back Marlon Mack left the game last week with a hand injury in the third quarter, and with him being out a few weeks, this prompts Williams into the starting role, and Jonathan had over 115 yards last week on only 13 carries. He also added a catch for 31 yards in addition to have 149 total yards in a division win over Jacksonville. He plays Thursday night, and with his recent success, I look for the Colts to use him a good amount against the Texans, and for him to be the feature back. Williams is owned in only 0.3% of ESPN leagues as of Tuesday night. If you can pick up Debo Samuel in your fantasy league, you have to at this point. As of Tuesday night, he is owned in 33% of ESPN leagues, and that number will only go up after another 8-catch 100-yard game. He has a streak, granted it is only 2, but a streak of 2 consecutive 8-catch 100-yard games, and that can't be said enough as impressive as a feat that is, because that just doesn't happen for rookies. That barely happens for veterans like Julio Jones, let alone rookies. He is a very good player and will be even better in year 2 and year 3, but for this week against the Packers, if you can still pick him up, you have to roll with the hot hand that is Debo Samuel. The final player I'll discuss in depth for this video is Raiders rookie receiver Hunter Renfro. Renfro has 15 catches in the past 3 games and more than 50 yards in 3 of the past 4. He plays the Jets defense this week, and aside from Jamal Adams, they are not a good secondary, as they gave up in Week 10 over 300 yards and 4 touchdowns to rookie Daniel Jones, and over 285 yards and 3 touchdowns in Week 9 to Ryan Fitzpatrick. I look for Renfro to get a fair share of opportunities this week, and as of Tuesday night, he is owned in just 7.7% of ESPN leagues. There were several other players I wanted to throw in this video, like Lions running back Bo Scarborough, but I didn't want to have 3 of 5 players from one game. A few others for one week rentals include Brian Hill of the Falcons as he has had 35 carries in the past two games alone, Chris Conley of the Jags as he is coming off of a game where he had 6 catches and will likely see more targets in the coming weeks than he has had all season with Foles being back now, and in deep, deep leagues, Jaden Graham of the Falcons if Austin Hooper is in fact out again. Anyway, that wraps up today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. Again, thank you for watching, and have a great day. Skull Vikes.